Okay, folks, uh, this is a demonstration uh, drizzle method. It's dark enough outside. I have loaded the uh, look up with charcoal and uh, I start the blower. Let's do it. Blower started. I have uh, around 70 under pressure. It's a bit too much. Pull it down. Okay, folks, here I am again. Uh, there is a load of charcoal in the gasifier. I have the benzene burner uh, flare ready. The uh, blower is on. And I have uh, something like uh, 30 millibar under pressure. Temperature zero at the output. Let's do it. Okay folks, we have lit the uh, charcoal, I have poured in uh, some wood chips, now we wait uh, until the hot coal bed forms itself. At this moment uh, the gas is very difficult to lit and uh, it has a uh, rather bad color. We have to wait until uh, the flaming pyrolysis bed is formed completely, which is almost happening now. Yes. Okay. We see uh, a big huge yellow flare. That's the beginning, very tarry. We have an under pressure of uh, something like uh, 40. Yes. Temperature of the gasifier is uh, 710 okay and uh, we're almost ready to uh, drizzle okay I shut off the camera so I can take fuel I have here my flaming uh, pyrolysis and uh, every uh, 30 seconds you pour in a handful of chips it's uh, yeah 28, 29, 30. Okay, pour in. Here we have the flare and uh, it stays sustainable. It's about one meter and a half, one, no, it's a little bit too accelerated, one meter 20 uh, long. Let's uh, have a look at the under pressure. Under pressure stays uh, steady at 40 uh, millibar. Um, temperature of the gasifier exit gas exit is uh, is uh, 786 which is not bad and uh, okay time to pour in this is the drizzle method take a handful of chips and pour it in the flaming pyrolysis let's have a look closer to the flare okay We have a big flare, a huge one. It's unfiltered. As and here we have the whole uh, concept. Oh, it's difficult to see. Uh, okay, some more time to drizzle in. 